Hi, I'm Skyler, and today I'm going to talk about a few techniques for synchronizing notes from your iPod to your computer. If you have a Mac, this is going to be a lot easier because you can create an iCloud account and you have several applications on your computer that synchronize notes automatically. If you're running OS 10.7, Lion, then notes will sync through the Mail application. If you're running OS 10.8, Mountain Lion, you actually have an application called Notes. And if you're signed in to both your devices, your Mac and your iPod Touch, with the same iCloud account, Notes will synchronize automatically between the Notes app on your iPod and the Notes app on your Mac. In order to make sure that feature is turned on, we just want to go to Settings, iCloud, Notes. If Notes is turned on, then if you open up your Mac and click on Notes, it'll be the same in both places. The same thing is true for Lion and Mountain Lion. They just end up in slightly different places, as I said, Mail or Notes. If you're on a PC, it's going to be a little bit trickier, but not a whole lot trickier. Do a Google search for iCloud Control Panel. Install iCloud Control Panel, and you'll see in a row the different things you can synchronize, the same as they're listed in the iCloud settings menu. Once you've installed iCloud Control Panel, you'll see that notes synchronize with either Microsoft Outlook 2007 or Outlook 2010. The reason that happens is the same reason that notes sync with mail on 10.7 or older on a Mac. Notes are actually emails. It's kind of emailing yourself, but they're compartmentalized so it's easy to keep track of them. Once you've installed iCloud Control Panel and if you've got Outlook, everything works fine, you'll just see a folder that says Notes from iPod. And that's pretty much it. If you don't want to use iCloud, uh, say you have a Yahoo account or a Gmail account, when you configure those accounts, you'll see the capability for connecting Notes as well. Um, if you do that, then if you log in to Yahoo or Gmail online, you'll actually have a Notes folder there. Finally, if you don't want to use any sort of cloud-based service, connect your iPod to your computer and launch iTunes. Under the summary page of your iPod, you'll see apps, and then down below that, you'll see a place that says file sharing. You just enable file sharing, and then find the notes application, and download all the apps, or all of the notes from that. Pretty straightforward. If you get lost, definitely check out Apple's support page because they offer really clear instructions on how to download all of this stuff and how to configure it properly. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.